Hey everyone, Christine here, producer for cosmetics on TFT, cat mom and member of the MPC, the No Pivot Club. I'm going to talk to you about some of the new content coming to TFT during our Lunar New Year event and beyond. Last June, you assembled a sky glass to help Pengu defeat their greatest and most stylish foe to date. A lot of you enjoyed saving the convergence from the black mist, and we've heard you like more ways to interact with the TFT universe. So with patch 12.2, tomorrow, we're kicking off a new yearly tradition with our first ever Lunar Legend Festival. Lunar Legend Festival is an annual event where we'll celebrate the Lunar New Year with content like new tacticians, special event missions, and more. This year's Lunar Legend Festival is called the Gifts of the Golden Lantern. In this new event, tacticians from all over the Convergence will come together to exchange gifts, light lanterns, and start the new year off with a bang. I hope everybody brought a gift for each of our guests. Oh, you haven't? Okay, don't panic. You have the opportunity to interact with each tactician, figure out what they really want, and gather the perfect gifts by completing missions in game. Just remember, a few of these tacticians are picky, so figuring out what they like may require your big TFT brain. But presents aren't the only thing tacticians want for the Lunar Legend Festival. They also want your presence. That way, you can help them solve riddles, light their lanterns, and fill the sky with firelight. It sounds like a lot to do, but don't worry. Your efforts will be rewarded with friendship. Oh, and a gift in return from every tactician you've won over. I heard that Dango gives the most thoughtful gift. There's also plenty of star shards and other gifts to unwrap for yourself. So let's light these lanterns and kick off the New Year celebrations. Gifts of the Golden Lantern also brings adorable and deliciously themed little legends. There's also a new ferocious mythic little legend who's responsible for ensuring an awesome Lunar Legend Festival. But they aren't the only tacticians joining us for the event. Chibi Firecracker Jinx is here to crash the party with all the explosions and none of the consequences. <laughs> now let's shift gears and talk about some of the new content coming in the future. From the future. After Gifts of the Golden Lantern comes the mid set, where we have a new mythic little legend to introduce. They've just come back from a universe where a shadow war rages between rebellious augmented humans and empowered artificial beings. Project Abyssia is our most badass little legend to date. They're so edgy, I'm even allowed to swear twice on camera. They're just that damn cool. While they may be stealing the show as our first announced little legend for the mid set, there's plenty more tacticians suiting up with cool tech found in the new theme. And here to talk about that theme is Jeff, our executive producer. Hello, tacticians. My name's Jeff, and I'm the executive producer for TFT. Let's get started with our plans for the next mid set. With gizmos and gadgets running like clockwork, it's about time for some more innovation. Neon Knights, our new mid-set, accelerates the world of gizmos and gadgets into a high-tech, high-velocity, high-energy, highlight reel of the high-hype, high-life. Brings a lot of tech-rific new things, including a new pass to unlock arenas, as well as some botanically inspired little legends. But past the pass, the Neon Knights brings hype new gameplay moments that I'm excited to reveal at a future time. And that future time is right now. Neon Knights will have one of our largest mid sets to date, swapping out over 20 champions while ushering in the new era of Hex Tech. With all the new champs on the way, we must say goodbye to a few. And leaving with these champs are the traits Imperial and Academy. But enough about the past. It's time to learn about the future with the introduction of our Hextech empowered roster that brings Alistair into TFT for the very first time. Hextech units cause disruptive shockwaves to pulse from your hex core every couple of seconds. Also entering the fray are the good, the bad, and the bougie. The debonair trait utilizes futuristic concoctions, beauty, and swagger to stay topped off and popping off. But this mid-set brings more than your typical roster swap. 
As you already know, we're bringing Silco to TFT as our very first TFT exclusive unit. This is an exciting moment for us all, and we'll be keeping one eye out for your feedback on the villain's debut. Alongside bringing our first TFT exclusive unit, Neon Knights has us pushing closer to the milestone of having every league champ officially be a part of TFT at some point. To make these extensive roster swaps possible, we'll be relying on the return of some familiar faces in all new places. Nar, Lucian, Sivir, and yes, Draven will be making their return alongside a few other beloved champs. And with all these changes in our roster, folks at the Hextech Augment Workshop are sure to follow suit. Expect more than a couple new augments to rotate and make way for a futurized augment roster. Finally, there's one more thing we have to discuss. Launching a new set with all new champions and mechanics is no easy task. And there's bound to be bugs and balance issues along the way. But that's where TFT has a secret weapon, you. So thanks to everyone who took part in reporting bugs and playing on PBE during the weeks leading up to the launch of Gizmos and Gadgets. And just for that, I'll leave you with one more future set spoiler. Our seventh set plans are starting to hatch as we near three years of TFT. We've learned a ton from each set about what makes for an interesting gameplay mechanic, roster of characters, and thematic and it's coming together now. Our seventh set takes place in the Dragon Realms, where clans compete for power across various islands, each worshiping their own powerful ancient dragons locked behind the mysteries of dormant shrines. We'll be bringing learnings from each TFT set into this one with a mechanic that builds upon the community's favorite, Hextech Augments, to bring similar levels of replayability and strategy in a world of dragons that are just as varied as the mechanics combinations. We're excited to reveal more about the set at a future date, but for now, let's take a peek at what the future looks like. I know, I said I'd leave you all with one more spoiler, but like the internet before you could finish Arcane, we're full of spoilers. This year's Lunar Legend Festival kicks off tomorrow with the Gifts of the Golden Lantern event. But as you can see, there's more coming down the road. From the mid-set releasing mid-February to TFT's third birthday, there's a lot to dive into. Okay, 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 I know, lots of hype, but don't take a seat in the set 6.5 or set seven waiting room just yet. There's plenty of fun to be had with our Lunar New Year event starting soon. All right, I've got some gifts to prepare. See you next time.